<coughs> Guys, this week only, every five bucks you spend will give you two entries. Two entries. We're doubling up the entries. That's right, you guys. So make sure you guys enter to win this week. Anything you guys buy on the website from today to a week from now, we'll give you guys double the entries. Hit up gooseperformance.com. Enter to win your PSI conversion swap harness and ECU gas pedal that works. Let's get back to the video. All right, look at that. This thing is ready to go. We just gotta put this thing back on now though. Put this thing back on here. Look at that, y'all. What you think, huh? Looking like money. Yeah, buddy. I'm digging it, y'all. We still gotta put this um, shaft back on. This thing is nice though. If I could see if I try not to mess this thing up with one hand. But this is gonna go back right in there like that. If I let's see if I can. Not too shabby, huh, guys? Not too shabby. We got this thing back together for the most part. Definitely kind of took it apart a little bit as much as we could to um, do the coating on it. And let me tell you guys, this thing looks ten times better. Tell me what you guys think. I think it looks freaking good. We also did the throttle body black just to kind of break it up a little bit. And I was thinking about doing the valve covers the same color, but now, let me show you. Now that we did that, come over here, let's see, driver's side. Now that we did the top, I don't want to do the valve covers anymore because if you put the black there, it kind of just breaks it up. If you look at that, it just kind of just looks a lot better with the black. Now imagine if that thing was all the same color and it just would kind of blend in there'd be no contrast but i think i'm going to leave the black but we are going to do today for this video water pump i went ahead and obviously we pulled off all the accessories for the most part off we're going to do the water pump in that same um air cure cerakote to show you guys how to do it kale what you doing over there what you got over there about to sand this down we'll send it, it up so that's literally all we're going to do guys um so according to cerakote you can do two things well especially with this air cure stuff so this is the stuff we're going to be using today cerakote this is their c series this is the glacier titanium it's that same color as you guys just saw on the magnuson so you can see all we're going to do is take some scotch bright you don't have to get anything too crazy just something pretty rough and you want to just scuff this whole thing up even though this thing is brand new we want to scuff it up so that way this stuff adheres on it really good another thing they suggest to do is to sandblast this you can sandblast this but i know a lot of people don't have a sandblasting cabinet at home not to mention i'm at a sandblast or not at a sandblast we're at a dirt kale we got to go get some from the supply store but what we're gonna do is well, use. After we scuff this, we gotta uh, wipe it down with um, some prep ball. Yep, yep. So what we're gonna do is use this guy. So if you guys have some of this Scotch Brite stuff at home, we're gonna just Scotch Brite the hell out of it, get in all the crevices, nooks, and crannies. Then you're gonna go over with some soap and water, wash it off, clean it off, and then we're gonna mask everything. That way we don't get anything on these guys, the outlets, and especially the pulley as well. We're gonna mask the pulley off. We're gonna leave that. But the best part about this, like I said, is air cure. Um, you are going to need, obviously, a spray gun because these does not come in a can, an aerosol can. So you're going to need some kind of gun. All we're going to be using is the old Harbor Freight Special. Let me show you guys. Nothing crazy here. We're just going to be using this bad boy right here. Nothing crazy. This is the HVLP. So just get it to use something that's halfway decent and then some strainers as well. You're going to need some strainers to make sure you strain the Cerakote before you spray it. Um, they want you to use like a 100 mesh strainer at least, but also shake this like shake it like you shake it like a salt shaker and then pour it in. Shake it really well. Shake it like a salt shaker and then you're ready but let's go ahead and we're just gonna prep this thing up real quick
Now we got this thing all pretty much prepped up, except for we're gonna do a one quick wash on the whole thing. Just, just with some soap and water, that's it, guys. Um, we probably should have waited to mask this thing off, but you know how we are. We get it carried away, but it should be fine. We'll just use the air hose and get everything blown off once we get this thing washed. Little Dawn dish soap goes a long way. Don't tell the wife, I brought her dish soap, so yeah. Hopefully she's not watching, huh? All you gotta do is put some soap on your hands with some gloves. Like I said, you don't have to be super thorough, but this is really just to kind of get all the little dust particles off of it while it was sitting over there. And then just to get any kind of oil, anything else that was on our hands from when we were sanding and we might've missed something just to really, really try to prep it up as best as possible. We'll go over it probably one more time after this with the prep all. That way we really have a clean surface and then we can hang it up and shoot it. Got the ghetto spray booth here, y'all. Uh, we're inside because guess what? Outside, no bueno today. It is like 100 miles an hour winds out there. So I advise you not to do that in the wind. But we got this thing pretty much hung up here. I just took some piece of wire, hung it up, choked it up from the heater hose nipples there. We went ahead and also hit it one more time with the prep off right here, just so that way we had a the best mating surface as possible. Now, let's get to the fun stuff because you got to shake what your mama gave you because this stuff right here, you guys, it is super important. One of the most important things is to shake this thing like no other, you guys. So make sure you guys shake this thing thoroughly. Now we got our paint set up. You guys, you remember you talking about it earlier. Nothing fancy, good old Harbor Freight special. Um, this guy here, all we have to do is uh, basically pour the stuff in and we'll be ready to go. Obviously you gotta have your strainer. Don't forget your strainer. Um, got a new disposable um, fill cup here. Uh, this stuff actually goes a long way. We use what? Let's see, about half of this almost. Probably, yeah, about half of it on the blower. And we probably put one too many coats that we probably didn't need. Now, before I forget, <coughs> guys, exactly, there's a reason why I did that. Oh my God, that stuff right there is so gnarly, like, oh my God. Yeah, you're gonna need a respirator, something guys, because COVID mask, whatever you got lying around, because that stuff right there, it is worse than paint. Like, I have never smelled anything like that when it comes down to like a, like a spray or just something like stuff like this it's 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 intense it's super intense whatever's in that um <laughs> coating is is gnarly so make sure you guys got some respiratory something to help you guys from yeah disclosure by the way yeah don't do that at home all good to go guys got the air compressor hooked up now i got the compressor regulated to about between 70 and 80 psi that's kind of where you want to be at right in that range so make sure you guys got that thing regulated we're gonna get a few test patterns right here real quick just to make sure uh, we got what we want always do that too before we put this mask on you guys can't hear me um, make sure first pass always nice and light very nice light coat second pass obviously get in there more heavy get into all the nooks and crannies and that final third pass if you guys want to do more than three fine by all means but make sure you get even amount of coverage throughout the entire water pump in this case or whatever you guys might be coding but let's get to it One hour later! Mm. 
Damn, Gina. Yes, sir. Oh, hold on. Whoa, love. It's definitely still, still like cloudy in here, guys. But you guys can see this thing is looking good. This thing even looks better than the blower. This thing is gonna look real good, guys. We're gonna let that dry. That's about actually, I wanna say four coats. Ended up doing about four coats. Uh, just cause we have it, we might as well use it. And then if you guys don't use anything that's in your gun, you can always pour that back. So don't worry about that. But we're gonna let that sit for about 24 hours. It should be dry and cure in 24 hours. Now, full cure time, it is five days though. Air dry is the biggest thing. You don't have to put this in the oven. You're gonna worry about any of that. So we're gonna let that sit, but it should look a little something like this when it's done, obviously, you guys seen it. So obviously once that water pump is done, you guys, it'll basically look like this. This is actually probably in about a week now that this thing's been sitting here now. Obviously it's everything's air cured and everything else like that. That is one of the best benefits about this series from Cerakote is just the air cure. You don't have to stick this thing in an oven or anything like that. We even reassembled this thing. This thing looks freaking good. Once we put that water pump in there and all the accessories with the black and everything, it'll really pop. I think that's going to look good. Real quick, I just want to thank today's sponsor, man, Cerakote. They sent us this product. Big shout out to them, you guys. They have been in the gun industry for such a long time, it seems like. But with this new product, man, it just really is going to make anybody at home that much better at this kind of thing right here when it comes to the details and your builds and anything else like that. You can just do stuff like this now and it looks like just pro. It looks like you guys went to a custom shop, had this thing done, quote unquote, my garage, but it looks freaking good. Guys, subscribe. That motor, hopefully next video, we're gonna try to drop this thing in and hopefully we have no issues, but that never works out. Guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the bell for notifications and stay wrenched.